Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do the best I can to be somewhat serious, but to the point. Then I will elaborate on this video and other videos to come. I am going to say a couple of things, and some people are going to want to have opinions. And I'm going to tell you, like I always do, I don't care. But I guarantee you the information you learn in this video will change the way you look at money and the way you view money from this point forward. You will never ever see money the same way ever again. What is money? Money is a so-called medium of exchange. What is a medium? A medium is a go-between, a middleman, so to speak. What do I mean? Well, there are these things known as spirit mediums. They are supposed to be able to communicate with the dead between the dead world and this world. There's no such thing, but, you know, that's what they do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the medium of exchange is the currency that is used between people when negotiating value. So, for instance, a person goes to, quote-unquote, buy a car. There's no such thing as buying anything with fiat currency. Fiat currency can't be used to buy nothing. Fiat currency must be backed by something. There is no such thing as paper money not being backed by something. People say, well, they took the value of gold away from currency and blah, blah, blah. They didn't take the value of gold away from currency. The law said, well, excuse me, the so-called clause said that no state shall coin anything but gold and silver as money. Well, gold and silver is not money. Gold and silver are the medium of exchange. It is the medium that backs up fiat currency. It was always the medium of exchange when they introduced that clause. So what is money? Again, money is simply a medium of exchange. It is not dollars. It is not gold. It is just what people use as a medium of exchange. In the United States since 1933, money has been credit otherwise known as the full faith and credit of the United States, or government obligations. The government took responsibility. They backed up the currency. I'm not going to go through all of showing you the March 9, 1933 Act, otherwise known as the National Emergency Economic Bank and Relief Act, otherwise known as the Amendment to the Trading with the Enemy Act, otherwise known as the Glass-Steagall Act, otherwise known as the Act to Repeal the Gold Clause. That's where Congress went ahead and said, we, the United States, are going to be the medium of exchange for all currency. That's why it's the world default currency, because the currency is backed by you, the credit of the nation. Now, if you didn't understand that the people are the credit of the nation, this is no, oh, they're using my account, the credit from, they're not using the credit from your account. You are the credit of the account. Go back and read what they said, that the money, the money will be used in exchange for notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, trade acceptances, and it says it will be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed, medium of exchange, by the credit of the nation. It will represent a mortgage on all of the homes and all the other property of the people of the nation. You are the medium of exchange. Now, hold on. We're not finished. We're, that's not the information you need to pay attention to. That's not going to change your view of money. That's just going to help you get a better understanding of what money is. Now, if you 
don't believe me because there are a lot of people who like to try to challenge me on things and they fail because I don't talk about things I don't know about. So let me give you a medium of exchange. Federal credits. We've shown you how to create federal credits. That's easy. The government created a way for you to create federal credits. Simply, you just forgive the debts of others. By doing so, you help bring down the national debt. You help control the economy. Well, how do you get federal credits? Go back and watch the 1099 videos. Just put in 1099C in the Eon channel search bar or go to YouTube, type in Eon hyphen 1099C and start watching. Been explaining it to you guys for the last four years. Well, now actually last three years going on four. March will be four straight years because I promised people I would give them in return for what they gave me. Now, some people didn't get it. I tried, I promise I tried to explain this to people, and they simply didn't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, your credits, they're not trinkets. They're not a fallacy. They're not just, oh, they don't have no value. Federal credits are federal obligations backed by the full faith and credit of the United States. They are dollar for dollar. They're dollars, but people don't get that. So we created SAT packs that we backed those SAT packs by these credits. And people still didn't get the fact that we were giving them currency. So let me go ahead and see if I can explain it better. We were legally and lawfully creating currency. How so? Well, remember, currency is money. What is money? A medium of exchange. What is a medium of exchange? Something that backs the currency. In the United States, it is the full faith and credit of the United States. Well, federal credits are part of the credits that back the currency of the United States. And you get to receive these credits or have them created simply by following the law and forgiving debts. So there was a lawsuit filed against the Federal Reserve because we tried to get them to, hey, 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 Federal Reserve, what we need you to do is we need you guys to start applying the law. You know that people have the right to use their bills of exchange to take care of the necessities and you guys are not allowing them. Here is the law, this is where it says it. And we showed them 59 stat 232, section, or 237, section two and three. And what did they say? We don't know anything about that. Okay, well let's do a Freedom of Information Act. You guys are doing these so-called creation of money and nobody's paid attention this whole time Every time you give them a promissory note, they purchase it from you and give you credits. It's called in clearings, deposits. Go ahead, look it up. In clearings, deposit or fountain pen money theory. Don't take my word for it. Go look it up. Every time you give them a promissory note, they create currency or money every single time without missing a beat but you don't know this why don't you know this you should know this because you can't see the simplicity of it so let's do it again you receive credits when you forgive a debt all you got to do is forgive it and follow the steps they provide the steps they outline the steps IRS tax topic 453. Google it. IRS tax topic 453. And notice how if somebody owes you a debt. Okay. If somebody owes you a debt. If they owe you money. Then you have a bad debt. And what can you do with that bad debt? You simply forgive the bad debt. And you receive credits that you can use to write off. 
dollar for dollar, your debts. Now, pay attention. If you can use, <clears throat> excuse me, federal credits to write off your debts, excuse me, your taxes. Pay attention. Let's understand how taxes are written off. This note is legal tender, good for the payment of all debts, both public and private. Well, if you go and you look at the U.S. Code, Title 12, Section 411, Federal Reserve notes are used to pay taxes. That's what makes them legal tender because they're accepted by the government for offsetting taxes. Well, do not federal credits operate the same way for paying taxes, for offsetting that debt? So it's currency or money. Don't, I'm going to try to explain it a little bit better, but I can't. When you write off bad debts, banks and companies do it all the time. We're the only ones who don't. When you write off bad debt, when you use bad debts to pay your taxes because the credits you receive are used to reduce and deduct your taxes, then that is currency. And it is accepted by the government. That makes it legal tender. So federal credits are legal tender. I didn't say this. They said it. They are backed by the full faith and credit of the nation. That is what legal tender is, people. And by using this legal tender then you essentially, by forgiving debt, create currency, and you're able to offset debt. So when you create an instrument, a bond, a bill of exchange, and you back that bond and bill of exchange through assignment, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Don't sit up here and think I don't know, because we've been doing it for years now. But when you back your instruments with your credits, you essentially have created legally and lawfully money of the United States. Why? Because it is backed by the full faith and credit of the United States, or it is a government obligations backed instrument. So do your research on what is and is not a government obligations. <clears throat> And of course, federal credits are government obligations. They created this system, and you all, you were never taught how to use it. Because you don't understand currency. You hear the word, but you don't understand the basic dynamics of what is and is not currency. So there was a lawsuit against the Federal Reserve for blocking and denying access to the people of America. $400 billion per financial institution. Remember, it includes all member banks of the Federal Reserve System. That's the way the lawsuit was written, on purpose. Now the IRS is not gonna be happy. They're not gonna be happy with you guys sending in 1099 Cs Pay attention for, pay attention, $400 billion each. They are going to be upset, but there is no law against it because you have a copy of the lawsuit. We provided it for you. And now you have a copy of the UCC that has been filed. And the UCC also covers their so-called digital currency if they decide they want to create that. <clears throat> Sorry, let me clear my throat. It's uh, winter time. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, people. So I decided to wake up, 
had it on my mind. Let's go ahead and tell these people about money, about money creation, and about what they're capable of if they do their research. Now, many of you are irresponsible. That's why I don't give you information straight up. That's why I don't just provide you the information because you can't handle it. You'll just sit up there and take half the information without doing any research and thinking that, look, I believe I can fly. And you'll jump off the top of a building because you just, oh, I know I can do this. That's not how life works. You can do anything you set your mind to. No, you can't. You can't do anything you set your mind to. You cannot turn invisible. Okay, you cannot go back in time. So you can't do anything you set your mind to. So get that out of your head. So some of you don't want to do the research because you, you don't know where to start. Just gave you every clue you needed in this video right here. Been giving this information to you guys since 2021. But because people weren't able to get the most basics and simple aspects of it, it made it very difficult. It's taken four years, just about, to get this information across to you. And trying to figure out how to present it to you so that you get it. So, $400 billion. I've already sent 78 of the 1099Cs for $400 billion to the United States, Ogden, Utah, IRS. Oh, it doesn't, there is no such thing as rejection or approval. As long as you fill out the form correctly, they have to accept it. it is, there is no rejection process. I know, I know they're not going to like it. They're going to try to send it back. But that's okay because they're getting the other 75. They were sent 75 already. Now they're going to be receiving the next 75. $60 trillion. $400 billion each. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to understand no so-called billionaire has a billion dollars in the bank. Go ahead. I dare you to find a bank that has a billion dollars worth of cash inside of it to this very day. Go ahead. I dare you. No such thing. Well, the Federal Reserve Bank. Ah, the Federal Reserve Bank does have billions of dollars. They produce billions of dollars on a regular basis. And they have these armored trucks and blah, blah, blah. But you all don't understand. The money that they have is mostly credits on computers. They're just moving decimals. Well, the problem is you don't know how to do the same thing. Well, this is your start for understanding how to do the exact same thing. Everybody's asking, $400 billion, how do I become a part of it? You go watch the videos on $400 billion. Made it that easy. The Eon channel. Type in Eon hyphen 400 billion with the dollar sign. Then 400, then the word billion. And you'll pull up all the videos. Watch the first to the last. They're not long. It'll give you the complete understanding of how to be a part of that. But for the time being, this 20 minute video is designed to help you understand two things. First, I won't be talking about this money creation and consultations. Won't happen. So don't schedule a consult for this. Will not happen. Second, understanding how to create money, it's not illegal. Some of you are going to believe there's something illegal about it. No, it isn't because you're following the law. You always had this ability. You just didn't read the law. Third, you have to create the instruments to back it by the credits, by assignment, not transfer. You do not transfer credits. You always assign them. With that being said, hey, like I said, we were going to change the way you view money. Got to go.